Michigan State is the new home of this futuristic autonomous bus. It's still in its testing phase right now, but officials hope to see it shuttling students by this spring. MSU President Samuel Stanley said this bus. I really think it amplifies what we're trying to do at MSU, um, being on the cutting edge of innovation, of research, and of course development as well. The bus is equipped with level four autonomy, which means it can operate without any human interaction. Right now, it's in its testing phase. There's a train driver behind the wheel, and people are collecting data. I had an opportunity to see the way the bus detects objects on the road. Being able to see how the bus visualizes objects gives me so much confidence for the future of autonomous vehicles. I felt safer knowing that human error was no longer a factor on whether or not I could be seen on the sidewalk. I got to take a ride on the bus and learn a little bit more about how it works. Right now, it's operating exceedingly carefully, often driving well below the speed limit and making sudden stops. In fact, one stop sent the press flying and one Lansing State Journal photographer ended up on the floor. Experts tell me they're still working out the kinks. Of course, we need a lot of time for testing. There are a lot of things that happen in the road. Uh, it's not easy to plan them, but this is a good step towards providing a real product with a real return on investment. The new autonomous bus was donated by bus manufacturer Carsan, and its autonomous technology was created by Adas Tech, a tech company based in San Francisco. Once the bus is ready for riders, it'll travel a two and a half mile loop from the commuter lot to the MSU auditorium. Reporting on the Michigan State campus, I'm Mel Myers, Fox 47 News.